Hi, Dr. Nats here. Okay, untuk siapa yang first time, welcome to my channel. I'm an aesthetic doctor and my passion is into beauty and fitness. So, today we are going to talk about acne to kids you must have. So, I ada 5 products yang I akan discuss hari ni and you must give at least 3 to 6 months untuk try these products. Let's say you dah try 1 month, you don't see result or maybe you develop uh, purging, you must give yourself a try then you can try longer 3 to 6 months. Product number 1 is cleanser. So, cleanser you must have a gentle pH balance cleanser which is about 4.5 to 5.5 because I understand kalau you ada acne prone skin ataupun oily skin you mesti nak rasa kering you nak rasa bersih kan lepas cuci but that is not good sebab kalau you cuci guna cleanser yang kering yang mengeringkan you punya kulit actually you punya mind akan suruh your sebaceous gland you punya kilang minyak untuk hasilkan lagi banyak minyak so this minyak dia akan melalui liang pori kulit you so bila liang pori kulit tersumbat basically dengan kulit mati dengan kotoran uh, minyak so dia akan membentuk blackhead, whitehead dan jerawat so that's why you must use a pH balance and gentle cleanser so product recommendation adalah number one my cleansing complex and we have another one which is acne cleanser so depends kepada you punya skin type if let's say you are the dry skin and acne prone I suggest cleansing complex and if you have very oily acne prone skin I suggest acne cleanser apart from that you boleh try CeraVe ataupun Eucerin product Number 2 which is active ingredient. Selepas you cuci muka, you apply active ingredients untuk target your skin problem. Basically acne lah. We have anti-inflammatory products such as this one is benzoproxide. So dia akan reduce the inflammation. Reduce because jerawat ni, dia salah satu criteria dia adalah inflammation. So we have to reduce the inflammation. And then anti-comedonal maksudnya dia bersihkan pori you. Unclog your punya pores such as adapalin and azelic acid and number three is antibacteria as we all, uh, we all know P acne adalah punca jerawat so I suggest you to use clindamycin gel product number three adalah moisturizer so moisturizer I suggest you to use a lighter form yang lightweight so yang tak creamy sangat because too creamy boleh menyebabkan jerawat you lagi teruk apa-apa pun you must try first not everyone is the same so I suggest product recommendation ialah endocal lotion I really love these products and dia masih lagi hydrate my skin but it won't make my acne worsen apart from this one you can try CeraVe PM and Sebamed Clear Face Gel product number 4 you don't have have to skip this step most of patient yang I tengok biasanya diorang skip this step because dia bila pakai akan rasa melekit which is sunscreen sunscreen is very important sebab kalau you tak pakai sunscreen parut jerawat you akan lagi hitam akan lagi teruk so it will take longer time to heal you choose sunblock yang oil free I prefer physical sunblock compared to chemical sunblock if you have acne prone skin and my product recommendation is our miracle protection sunscreen this is my favorite dia tak sticky dia tak oily and then dia absorb very fast and dia ada phytosyngosin which is akan improve you punya skin barrier and also anti bacteria properties ok last one some people memang tak boleh keluar rumah tanpa makeup it's ok but make sure you punya makeup is mineral based makeup and then you clean your face properly before you go to bed so this is my product recommendation which is Kiss Mineral Products. Apparently, bila I pakai ni, I punya kulit, siapa yang, especially siapa yang oily lah, dia akan rasa kurang berminyak. Kemudian kalau let's say I have jerawat, I akan dab this mineral powder to dead acne. And 2 to 3 days, dia akan kecut. Even waktu tidur pun you boleh pakai. So, it's very safe. It's mineral 100%. So, I hope this acne toolkit will help you and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe